Hey, Juanita out of Ramos Domine. Merry Christmas, guys. Oh, yeah, Merry Christmas. You know what I mean? Happy New Year. Well, actually, there is 12 days of Christmas starting on December 25th. So, uh, we say Merry Christmas all the way to something like January the 7th or whatever. Um, and it is the Christmas season, so hope you guys had a good one. One of my favorite gifts that I got, besides a box of ammunition, you know, 357 Magnus, I got the 1836 Tagua leather holster okay it's ambidextrous so you can flip it you can change out the strap it fits a six inch gun so the 686-3 or the black hawk that i have that are that are about that barrel length so i'm going to give you guys a review of it it's very stiff it feels great <laughs> the stiffer the leather the less you feel it on your belt um, if you're going to carry this much weight, <clears throat> if you're going to carry this big of a gun, you got to have a good belt and you got to have a good holster. So this is a great gift for my daughter. Um, and I'm going to run through some concealment drills. Okay, now, if you're going to run outside the waistband, uh, you know, and, and you're open carrying, it's probably really important you keep that retention strap on there. But <clears throat> this is a fine motor skill, flipping that open in a fight that I don't want to have to deal with. So if I'm concealing, all right, I'm gonna let that strap loose. And I'm gonna show you the difference here in a second of how much faster it is. So first, I'm gonna do a hammer pair, okay? From concealment, I'm gonna have this strap, I'm gonna have to do it here. Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna do it without strap. Okay, so the strap is open, it's thick. Okay, it's a lot faster that way. All right. Once again, if I have to deal with the strap, even from an open carry, it takes time. Alright guys, next drill. Alright, so this, this video is more for me than you guys. I, I just doing some training with it, seeing how it feels. Now we're gonna do, hey, what if my, my strong hand is out of the game? You know, I got injured. Okay, weak hand only, I gotta be able to get to this thing. So let's see what that looks like. We'll do a couple shots here, weak hand only. So strong hand, weak hand. Okay, not too bad. You gotta be able to get your, your hand around it. Okay, so strong hand only. So put my weak hand, this is obviously gonna be a lot faster. Okay. Finally, I'm gonna finish it with a weak hand only and a, and a reload. This is something you gotta practice on your own, folks. You gotta practice this. We can draw, we can reload. Okay, so strong hand, we can. Put it in your waistband. Open the cylinder. It's gonna be hard to do, guys, under stress. You gotta put it in your waistband, as you can see, like that. Cylinder open. Eighteen thirty-six leather. It's really stiff. It's got an old west kind of look to it. Uh, on the box it says for single actions, but obviously it's for double actions as well. Feels really good. Um, what we're gonna do right now is a build drill. Okay. Um, I've been kind of using the strap anyway, um, but you're gonna be a lot quicker without the strap on if you're going from concealment. So we're gonna do this one. This is a build drill, five shots, shooting and moving. I have 13 rounds on target, so we'll see how we do here. Yeah, one, two, three, 13. All right, here we go. Okay. 
Okay. Some fast shooting with that gun. I don't know if I hit though. All right, so you gotta move your feet, folks. You know, recently I had a comment on one of my scout videos that, uh, you know, if you're that close to somebody, seven, 15 yards, wouldn't your movement be forward? And I like that aggressiveness. That's, as an infantryman in combat, that's what you wanna do is always be moving forward if you can be in an offensive mindset. <clears throat> All right, reason you see me moving laterally or rearward most of the time is because in a defensive situation, you know, we need to be looking for cover. We need to get to cover. All right, if cover happens to be in front of us, we're gonna move in front, okay? Uh, if it's an active shooter, we're gonna move towards the threat, okay? Um, if there's innocent lives at stake and moving forward is going to save them, then we're gonna move forward, all right? But defensively, a lot of times, um, if our cover is to the side or rearward, then we need to move distances your friend. You know, as if this person is running at you with a knife, I'm not going to, with my gun, move forward at him unless, uh, unless situation dictates. Okay, this time I'm gonna run concealment from a sticky holster. This is another way to run your six inch gun. You just have to cut a slit at the bottom and it works great. Okay, so if you're gonna conceal inside the waistband or outside, make sure that you only conceal with one layer of clothing. So I'm gonna tuck in my t-shirt, I'm gonna conceal with this bigger, bigger jacket. Okay, let me get my ear pro. Okay, I'm about 15 yards away. Another way to conceal your six inch gun, make sure inside the waistband you tuck in and you only conceal with one layer. It's a sticky holster, okay? This is the LG5, made for the four inch L frame or K frame. You cut a hole in the bottom and you can fit your six inch in there, no problem. All right, so <clears throat> feels fine if uh, sticky is, is watching. Uh, make something for a six inch gun because there are people out there like me that will carry one. Okay, get into the reasons why. Longer sight radius, more velocity. Um, typically more accurate. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so here we are 15 yards. Let's talk about movement, moving towards, rearward, to the side. We're going to do three drills, moving forward, left and right, uh, hammer pairs as quickly as we can. Okay, why would we move forward? Well, to take an aggressive posture, active shooter, something like that, we're going to move forward. Here we go. Okay, that's two shots. All right, good. And do that now, moving left and right. Left, right. Okay, that was good. All right, let's do it again, and then we'll add a speed reload in there. Finish this out. Here we go. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to show you the Dickens drill, the 357 Magnum from Concealment. Here we go. Best we can without the sunshine getting in your way. I'm shooting on steel. Let's count how many we get. And that's it. All you need is one shot. Dickens drill. It's over. One. 40 yards.